Over the last three weeks, we have been considered to be on three different TV networks. So I'm like, whoa, I don't know what the future beholds, but it seems really fun. share a super cool first time experience. Our van life was featured on TV. I'm just gonna share with you how this came about. If you're familiar with the van life world, you know that one of the most common places where we go to camp is Walmart. We decided to camp at Walmart and in the following morning, someone approached us, it was an associate at Walmart, and they informed us that we had to go homeschooling my son I'm about to make lunch and this guy is telling me that we need to go right now so I was very confused because by then I've camped at a few Walmarts already the guys like no you can't camp here and so I'm about to make lunch and this guy is telling me that we need to go right now and I'm explaining to the guy I'm like hey well I need to run back in and grab some supplies still and he's like no you've got to go I'm gonna call the news station and tell them about what's going on. <laughs> Some of you guys are probably laughing at me right now. I'm not familiar with this particular area, but I get on Google, find a news station, and I make the call, and they answer, and I'm like, hey, got a situation, a story that you may or may not be interested in. However, um, I would love to talk to someone about this. And so they're just like, all right, well, tell me what's going on. I tell them what's going on, and then at the end of the conversation, they say, oh, well, um, I, if we're interested in your story, we'll give you a call back. And we left this particular location, and then we went to Laguna. Phone call. And it's a TV producer saying, hey, we heard your story. We'd love to have you in our office and do a segment on you. And I'm thinking like, oh, great. But there's just one thing. This is not the news. This was not the news. So I'm like, oh my goodness, apparently we called a local TV station. In the morning, we went to the YMCA, we took our showers, and we headed straight to the studio. We haven't done laundry yet, and I have two pairs of clothes both of which are clothes that I would typically wear for a festival and not on camera. However, we did not have time to do laundry. Two, my hair. Oh my goodness. I have curly hair and it has its moods. And whenever I wash it, the shrinkage is real. When it stretches, that's when I love it. I love it when my fro is just big. Like it's like fro power, like I just love it. So here I am, my hair was just right, but it was dirty and it was sandy because we were at the beach all week. And I didn't want to wash it because it was gonna shrink up. Ha! At least I was fresh. Washed my hair and my hair just did not go how I wanted to go. My hair usually looks popping. It looks pretty good usually by day three. Give me a thumbs up in this video if you know what I'm talking about. You know, the shrinkage is real. Laguna is about two hours away from where we originally were. Two hours turned into three hours because of traffic. Our van is a 1989 Ford Econoline. Not the best on gas mileage. Also, the acceleration when going up hills is terrible. So we could not accelerate past 55 when we were on an incline and it sucked. We arrive at the TV station. We didn't know that they wanted to film us at the van. It's hot. I've been driving. I'm excited. It's 90 degrees outside. We just drove for two and a half hours. <laughs> All we wanted to do was be in air conditioning. We were under the impression that we were going to be sitting in the studio. <laughs> Maybe we can film like a portion of the van, do a tour of the van or something like that, but it's hot. I don't want to be all sweaty and sticky and everything on camera. It's just too hot. All right, Chili, you ready to be on film? On camera? Hmm? Chili, Chili, Chili. 
Okay. This experience taught me so much. We truly had to work with what we got. One thing that I was concerned about was my son's shoes. The day prior, we were at the beach and my son loves to wear his shoes on the beach. No matter how much I tell him, take your shoes off. What I noticed while we were en route to the studio, his shoes were all salty and they were black. They became salty after they dried. I asked the directors, I said, hey, whenever you film, can you make sure you only film from like the waist up because I don't want my son's shoes being on the camera because people can be so critical, you know, they'll just try to find anything and everything to just like complain and blah, you know. So anyway, his shoes are seen on camera. I didn't have the proper clothes that I wanted to wear on TV. I hope that our crazy, unexpected experiences really inspire you to never take anything for granted and to understand that there is a learning experience from every situation, even if it's not perfect. Just go in, remember your mission and your purpose and why you were doing that very thing that you've never done before. Just jump on in and don't be afraid to look silly or fail or whatever because every experience in life is going to teach us and the more that we practice and prepare uh, the more opportunity will find us so with this being said promise to prosper check out the interview comment below let me know who you are don't forget to subscribe and also share this video with anybody else that you know that might want to travel the world and just do fun things while they travel because let me tell you this journey is worth it and i'm very happy to have all of you along for the ride peace